Alright, we're gonna take a look at this puzzle today. When these type of puzzles show up, you'll see a bunch of them on Facebook. They're all very similar. They have math equations um, that are made up of pictures rather than variables. Um, but then there's a trick to the pictures later on. So rather than having x plus x plus x on the first one and just using variables, um, the pictures there's a trick with the picture where the picture changes, and we'll take a look at that as we do this problem. Okay, let's start with the first equation. We've got three caterpillars. Take a quick look and make sure the caterpillars are all the same, and if we do, they look pretty similar. So we can say that three identical caterpillars equals 21. Divide both sides by three, and we get one caterpillar is equal to 7. So now we have a caterpillar is equal to 7 and we can use that in the second equation. So we've got, we're going to put in 7 for the caterpillar here. Again, take a quick look and make sure the clocks are the same and they look very similar. So we're going to say 2 clocks plus 7 equals 19 and then we can solve for clock, we're going to subtract 7 from both sides, and get 2 clocks is equal to 12, divide by 2, and we get that a clock is equal to 6. So far, pretty straightforward. So we've got caterpillar at 7 and a clock at 6. Again, we can substitute those in now that we know a clock is 6 and a caterpillar is 7, and we're going to find out what a flower is. So a flower plus 13 equals 15. I'll go, just go through the steps here to finish it off. 13 is cancel, and then you get a flower is 2. All right. So we just use the first three equations to figure out what a caterpillar and what a clock and what a flower is. We could have done that with, with pictures or um, variables the same exact way. It's just using math to solve those. Now the last equation is where all the tricks come in. So we're going to take a look at this equation. Now knowing that a caterpillar, clock, and, and flower are worth those values, let's take a closer look though. So first thing we notice is this caterpillar has no flower. No flower on its head. We then notice that here we don't have one flower. We actually have two flowers. And then the clock, what's different about the clock? All the previous clocks, if we look, were all set at 6 o'clock. This clock, however, is set at 5 o'clock. So it's 5 instead of six o'clock. And then one more thing, we notice this caterpillar, if you look, all the other caterpillars had five sections. This caterpillar is a little longer, has one extra section. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what does that mean for our numbers? So let's take a look at the caterpillar. The caterpillar, we said, is worth seven. Without a flower, he's going to be worth five because we're taking two away for the flower. So we've got five, but that's a regular caterpillar, a regular caterpillar with five sections. So if a regular caterpillar with five sections is worth five, a caterpillar with six sections should be worth six. Next part, two flowers. So if one flower is two, two flowers should be four. And then if a clock at six o'clock equals 6, then it would make sense that a clock at 5 o'clock would equal 5. So we notice four different things about the pictures which change the values in this last equation. Alright, so let's go back to the equation. And we get 6 plus 4 times 5 based on the analysis we just did. So one more thing we've got to remember to finish this up is order of operations, multiplication comes before addition. So we've got to do this part first and get 6 plus 20, add those up, and get our final answer as 
26. Thanks for watching. If it's your first time here, please subscribe right over here. And if you like what you see and you want to see more, I've got another suggestion for you right over here. Thank you.